Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, is we're gonna learn about how to use your own image in Leonardo AI, add your image to AI, and make an image with your face. So if you're actually not familiar onto what is Leonardo AI, so it is an AI tool that facilitates the creation of spectacular digital assets such as images, environments, and concept art. So as you can see in here, you could envision the extraordinary with the image generation. So this is actually a feature that they have onto um, Leonardo AI. So we also have here the AI canvas which is perfect every few hours. So this is another feature that they offer in here. And also the 3D texture generation, which is advancing 3D texture innovation. So you could breathe life into 3D assets like never before. So just upload your OBG file, generate textures with contextual intelligence, and download enriched files tailor made for you. So these are the different finds and models that it offers. So you could unveil new creative horizons with them. So you could actually use this as a reference in the platform gallery in here so that you could go ahead and see what other designers are doing in here and you could find an inspiration and you'll get ideas onto their design. So they have also a Discord server that you could join to be a part of their community and they are number third onto the Discord server in the world so we could go ahead and click onto that and there are also a community of over 4 million is waiting for you there are different testimonies as well in here by other users and for you to be able to get started on using leonardo ai you'll just have to head here onto the upper part to create an account and also for that there is no credit card needed for it now to sign up or log in with leonardo ai there are actually different options for that so you could use your Apple account if you have one, Google account, or Microsoft account, or you could just simply type in your email and password in here. Now, if you have an account already and you have forgotten the password, there is a forgot your password button in here. And if you need an account, simply click on the sign up. So this app is actually available onto the app store already. And you could view the privacy policy in here and the terms of service. And personally, what I try to do when I sign up or log in with accounts, so I try to use Google so that I don't have to remember the email and password. I'll just have to click onto the account that I want to use. And then once you're already logged in, you'll get redirected onto Leonardo AI's dashboard. So that is what it looks like. So as you can see in here, here are some of the get started here button in here to get started. So you have the image generation, live canvas, canvas editor, and the motion in here. Now scrolling down, you should be able to see the recent creation done by other users, just like what we've seen onto the website earlier. Now, if you hover onto it, you could like onto it. You could see the title and the prompt that was used onto it, like for this one. So there would be an option for you to copy the prompt, image to image, and remix this if you want to go ahead and try to generate something like that. So we'll try to find in some reference in here for our creation. So like this one as well, kind of like how this one turned out, very creative. You could go ahead and copy this prompt out if you want to go ahead and try to recreate something like this. Now going back in here, so you should be able to see here onto the left side, it's logo. So you could see also the tokens in here. So these tokens are what you use to get a generation. Now this actually resets daily, but if you want more in here, there is actually an upgrade button in here so that you could view the different plans that Leonardo AI offers. Now, so you can see there are four plans in here. We're currently using the free one. And we have the Princess for $10 per month, Artisan for $24 per month, and the Maestro at $48 per month. So you could actually choose to pay up to yearly or monthly for this. And if you scroll down further, you should be able to see the different features that it offers. So these are the different things that it is included onto each plan. So you could choose onto which one you want to subscribe, and you'll have to click on to subscribe to use that specific plan. Now going back onto the dashboard in here, so um, let's head back first here. Now as you can see, we could also see the community feed in here. So this is where you should be able to see the some of its recent creation just like this. And also the personal feed or your own generation. So this is where you should be able to see the training and data sets. And also, we also can see the finds and models in here. So these are the different reference that we mentioned earlier. So as you can see, we could go ahead and try to choose onto that. Also, we have the AI image generation, live canvas. We also have canvas editor, texture generation in here so as you can see we also have api access settings and the fact and help and the logout button in your account settings now here if you notice here onto the um, fine-tuned model so 
these are actually great or important onto your um, generation so if you want to go ahead and try to influence something onto your design so just like this um, pixel art so if you want to go ahead and try to generate something like a pixel art you could go ahead and try to click onto this um feature or model so that your generation would look like it so it offers a lot in here and for you to be able to proceed onto the image generation just click onto ai image generation for that so this is what it looks like we have here the um, text prompt so this is where you'll type in the prompt or the things that you want to see onto the photos you could create random prompt as well onto this button the model so you could choose different models in here elements to um go ahead and try to um get something or a reference as well into your design also we have the leonardo style in here you could choose for that and the elements and the negative prompts or the things that you don't want to see onto your photo so you're gonna go ahead and head here onto the left side you could choose the number of images some of its features the image dimension some of its control guidance scale and ceiling now to turn on the image to image we'll click onto image guidance in here and we're gonna toggle the image input in here on say the right side now, as you can see, you could go ahead and upload an image input. So you'll just have to choose as well, or you could just choose onto the one that you have um, uploaded before. So we're going to choose in here onto which one we're going to use. So I think this one will do for reference. We'll click onto confirm for that. And then right after, as you can see here, that is our um, guide. And then we're going to change this prompt since I think this is just um, too broad. So we're going to go ahead and type in something in here that is um, very simple that we could use as a guide. So we could use the um, prompt, which is fairy in the forest in here. And then you could also um, try to add in some elements for reference. So we'll try to choose out something in here that we could use so i think this ivory and gold will do already but we could try to add in another one for that just like this baroque so you could um, add multiple elements for that and you could adjust the weight in here for that one so that you could adjust how it would look like so we could try to adjust the strength and weight in here onto this part and then we'll click on to generate in here so that we could go ahead and try to see its generation and as you can see here are the first generation that it offers so um it did not really depict it a fairy in here but it was similar to that since i think the one that has um really influenced this was the baroque element so we could try to remove this one out so that it would uh, remove that and we'll try to re remove some elements as well in here so that it will really give us something that will rely onto the prop so we're going to go ahead and adjust the strand again in here up to 0 0.29 and let's click on to generate again to see what it will give us and after a few generations here are what i've gathered so i kind of like how it turned out already so these are the um second set that i have also i have generated this and this one so what i did is i actually adjusted the different strength in there so that i could get something or a different variation so onto this generation or onto this set i think there are some minor issues within the mount for that and i did a generation again and i kind of like how this one turned out since it really depicted a fairy in the forest and also um did show still um the photo that we've used as a reference now once you're already satisfied you can download the image using this option in here the download image you can also delete it copy it and zoom the image and remove the background for it now if you're still not yet satisfied you could still um do another generation in here just click on to generate adjust the strength also add in some style or elements for that and that's just basically it on to using your own image in leonardo ai and if you think this has been helpful don't forget to hit the like subscribe and we'll see you on to your next video